Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, in this particular session, which is particularly for NEET 2024 aspirants, I'll be letting you know about those topics which you are going to prioritize very less in your upcoming, for your up upcoming NEET 2024 examination, right? Basically, from the subject chemistry, I have come up with almost some 20 to 25 topics Right, and these are the topics which I'm going to let you know. From these particular topics, questions have not been frequently asked in the NEET examination if you look at the past five to 10 year question papers. So I would want you guys to prioritize the topics which I'm going to give you. I mean, prioritize them less, okay? Apart from these topics, whatever topics are there, prioritize them more, try to complete them in detail. And after that, after completing those important topics, after that, if you get any sort of time, then go ahead and try to do the topics which I'm going to give you today, right? So in short, you need to prioritize them less, okay? But before showing you those topics, there was one video which I posted like a few days back. I believe everybody, every one of you have watched this particular video, right? The title was the guest paper for NEET 2024. In this particular video, I've almost given you uh, all the topics all the very, very, very high weightage topics, very important topics of your physics, chemistry, and biology. And if you are, I mean, at the verge of completion of your syllabus, if you are at the verge of completion of your preparation, please and please prioritize the topics which are given in this particular video. Prioritize them, right? Do not skip a single topic out of the topics which are given in this particular video. Similarly, similarly, I had posted one more video, if you remember. That was some 55 topics, something around that. Just a second. Yes, 55 topics to score 150 plus in chemistry, right? Do check this video out as well. From this particular video, you are going to get to know the high weightage, the very important concepts which can be asked, right? Which have been frequently asked in NEET in different chapters of your chemistry, okay? Now, there are definitely some topics, my dear students, which you are going to prioritize less. And let me show you those topics one by one. See, in your first chapter of chemistry, there's a topic mentioned that is significant figures, right? No doubt, in physics, significant figures are asked, but in chemistry, significant figures are not asked, right? So this topic prioritizes less when it comes to chemistry. Laws of chemical combination. It looks like important topic when you enter in your class 11th, but if you see the last year papers, questions have not been frequently asked from this particular topic as well. Similarly, average molar mass of gaseous mixture. This is one more topic from which question has not been asked from past five to six years in the NEET examination. Discovery of subatomic particles. Do not waste your time in studying those experiments in which electrons were discovered, protons were discovered, neutrons were discovered. Do not waste your time in that, right? Then you have got Millikan's oil drop experiment. Only conclusion of Millikan oil drop experiment you can remember. Rest, how this experiment was carried out, how this experiment was done, how the charge on electron was calculated mathematically, right? Using Stokes law, you are not supposed to do that. Thomson's model. Nothing is going to be asked from Thomson's model as well. Similarly, my dear students, distance of closest approach. In chemistry, do not go for that, right? Similarly, impact parameter, do not go for that, right? It will be a wastage of time when it comes to your chemistry, right? For the NEET 2024. History of the periodic table, I would highly suggest you guys avoid this one as well, right? Real gases, no need to study. Payload, no need to study. Aqueous tension, no need to study. Indicators, prioritize list. I won't say no need to study. I'll say prioritize very less. This, this particular topic as well, indicators. Well, this is something which is frequently asked in JE. But if you see the last 5-10 year papers of your NEET examination, just one question was asked long back from the indicators part in the NEET examination, right? So you can prioritize less indic indicator topic as well, okay? Then you have got in equilibrium, you have got vapor density measurement. I do not remember when was the last time question asked from this vapor density measurement, right? So you can, I mean, prioritize it less again, but it's a simple topic. Perfect. If you get time at the end, you can check it out. Physical equilibrium, not frequently questions have been asked, right? Simultaneous equilibrium, not frequently questions have been asked. Polytropic process in thermodynamics, I have not seen in chemistry at least. In physics, you get questions. In chemistry, I have not seen a question, single question asked from the polytropic process as well. Then, there's a chapter called a solution from solution. Azeotropes, right? It's a, it's a huge topic basically. If it's, if it is studied properly, if it is taught properly, it's a huge topic. There are different graphs involved in azeotropes, but they're of no use to you, 
right? So you can avoid that too. Similarly, in chemical kinetics, any anyway, you you just need to remember the definition of azeotropes, right? And you need to know which all solutions do form the minimum boiling and maximum boiling azeotropes. That's more than sufficient for you, right? No need to go into depth. Then you have got kinetics of series reactions, kinetics of parallel reactions, kinetics of reversible reactions. This has not been asked in the NEET examination, right? From very, 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 very long, right? So you can avoid this as well. Then you have got concentration cells in your electrochemistry. Don't remember exactly when was the last time question asked from the concentration terms. Similarly, thermodynamics of cell, right? How to calculate delta H for a cell, delta S for the cell, delta G for the cell is important. Delta G you need to cover, delta H, delta S no need to do, right? Or at the end, if you get the time, you can do it. Corrosion is very important when it comes to boards, but when it comes to your NEET examination, again, it has the least importance. Effect of pressure and temperature in organic reactions, except ethyl alcohol plus concentrated H2SO4, right? So you need not to go for the effects of pressure and temperature on the organic reactions, right? Prioritize it very, very, very less. And similarly, you have got chromatography, right? You are not supposed to do this chromatography in detail. Perfect. These are the topics which I'm again telling you, they are not as important as the other topics which I gave you in the previous session, right? It is better. I'm not telling you to avoid them completely. No, prioritize them less. That is my point. Do not waste your lot of time in order to go into these topics in depth, right? The important topics which I gave you in the last video, try to prioritize them. Go in very, very, very depth knowledge about them, right? But these are the topics which I have gave you in this particular session related to chemistry, right? Prioritize them very less. And at the end, if you get time, you can check them out, right? But do not waste your time in order to go into the details of these particular topics because it's going to be a complete wastage of time, right? I thought this video was very important to be made because a lot of students would be definitely utilizing their energy and time to study these particular topics in depth due to which they'll be maybe wasting their 10, 20 days of their preparation. So I do not want you guys to do that. So please and please prioritize these topics less, but do study them once, but prioritize them less. That means do not go into the depth of these particular topics. That was all from my side in this particular session. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.